Okay, we are live. How are you doing? Mike here and hopefully you can see me as ever and I've got my uh, my face in, in shot and also you can hear me. I've got my mic uh, all set up ready and uh, if somebody, if you, if you can type in a, a yes to whichever stream you're watching on this, this on, it's going out in a couple, then that'll be fab. Um, it's Monday, so I think we're all set. I've got some things to kind of show you today to kind of explain a little bit about what I'm talking about. So today I wanted to talk about the sound and particularly how you can uh, make sure you have really great sound in the videos that you make. It is generally uh, kind of regarded in the, in the uh, TV and movie industry that the most important aspect of making a great film or a, a visual content is actually the sound. Of course, the visuals are really, really important and we will talk about cameras and smartphones and all that kind of stuff uh, during these live um, uh, sessions this month. But I think we'll start here with the audio because without, you know, without the visuals, you can still listen to the audio and people listen to audio books, etc, etc. But if you've ever watched a movie where the sound is so bad that you can't actually understand what people are saying, then it doesn't matter how fancy the visuals are, you, you're probably not going to watch it. So hopefully that explains why it's really important for you to have as good quality sound on your videos as possible. So uh, just before we get going, just to let you know, if you want to dive deeper into this, if you want to find out how you can uh, make great videos to promote your business, what you do, the good stuff, then go over to my website, mikeblissett.com forward slash speak, and you'll find out loads more information there. So that's mikeblissett.com forward slash speak, and you'll find out about my new online program, Speak Like a Pro Online, and how you can use video to shine, to, sh to share what you do and to grow your business as well. So as I say, today is about um, what kind of mic can you use to to record your video. And I mentioned a few times last week that I'm recording. I decided to record these uh, Facebook Live videos using my iPhone. Uh, many people do that and many. And I also uh, have recorded a video uh, for my regular blog and also for my online course, parts of that. And when I've been out and about, I, you know, and at events, I, I use my uh, iPhone to uh, record video there and it, it's pretty darn good. So, so that's great. Um, and also uh, there are other kind of cameras you might have. You might have a camcorder, you might have a DSLR and a DSLR is kind of, it's one of these things here. It's a, it's a kind of a, a regular, you know, camera with a lens that zooms in and out and you can do fancy things with it. And I don't use this one for video, but you know, many people do and um, yeah, great. But as I say, I, I, I tend to use my camcorder. I'll explain that in a moment and also the, um, my iPhone as well. And so um, it is really important whatever kind of camera you're using to make sure that the sound is as good as you possibly can make it. So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna list a few ideas that you can take away from here. And just so you know that you've got great sound on the videos uh, you make. You can almost get away with a bit of a grainy image sometimes if you're, if you haven't got great light or whatever in a video, you can almost get away with that. It's not a, so much of a problem as not having uh, as good sound as you possibly can. So as I say, the audio is really, really important. As I mentioned, I, I go uh, in a real deep dive on this and all the techie aspects of how you can marry them up, the visuals and the audio and, and produce great content in my online program, Speak Like a Pro Online. So if you want to check that out, it's on my website, mikeblizzard.com forward slash speak and you'll find all that there. And there's a link just above or below or somewhere around this video so you can check that out. So as I say, um, I'm using my iPhone to record this. So whatever kind of smartphone you've got, uh, it's got an internal mic and I've used the internal mic uh, various times. I think I was out at the weekend, I can't remember where I was, and I wanted to do a Facebook Live or an Instagram or something uh, video and I didn't have my external mic uh, with me so you know I just still shot the video and I tried to get the environment as quiet 
as possible. I was in a square in Soho, I think it was in Soho Square, I think it was yesterday in central London. So Sunday, there were people, there were ple people there playing table tennis and there was a few cars going past, but it wasn't crazy busy like maybe it would have been on Saturday or in the week. And so I, you know, I found the environment, I set it up as, as well as I could and I still shot the video, so that's okay. And you can do that. Um, but as I say, if you can, uh, as much as you possibly can, you try to use an external mic, you are gonna get better quality sound just because the external mics, mics can uh, be, uh, can produce far higher sound quality than uh, an, a, an internal mic on, well, not just an iPhone or a smartphone, but also on these, these DSLRs and the, the camcorders. They've got the little mics on the front, but you know, and they try really, really hard and that's great but they'll never be as good sound quality as if you used an internal uh, mic, as, as if you use an external mic. So you plugged a mic in and just got better sound. So without further ado, the mic I'm using here for uh, this video, bearing in mind this is plugged into my iPhone, but equally if you've got any other kind of smartphone, this mic would work for that as well. It's, I'll pick it up, I haven't, uh, it, uh, um, it's basically called a lapel mic, so you can clip it to your lapel or your shirt or your jumper or whatever it is. I haven't got it on there today because I just got it on the desk in front of me, but I will show you it. It's this. So hopefully you can see that. <laughs> it's a, it's a Rode, I haven't got it in front of me, the, the, the box or the name. It's a Rode Smart Lav, um, mic. So if you put in Rode, smart lav mic and I'll, I'll put it in the comments just underneath this when i finish this video I'll, I'll type it in so you can find that there and um it's really i mean road make great uh mics and this is really for uh for its class it's meant to be one of the best and it's near studio sound quality so you might think oh my gosh that must cost hundreds of pounds well actually it's about 50 pounds so it's a lot less than you might think you might have to pay for a really really good near studio sound quality mic so if you're in dollars us dollars about i'm guessing around 65 70 dollars something like that and you're good to go and this thing kind of it wraps up and you can put it in its little pouch that it comes with this is not turning into a qvc video by the way but it just means that it's portable you can put it in your pocket i put it in my in my bag, whatever bag I've got with me, my your camera bag, backpack, etc., uh, and your rucksack, and it just goes there. Um, and I can't uh, show you because it's actually working now, but of course, because I've got an iPhone, I've got a lightning connector, so uh, I've got this mic plugged into, uh, into the dongle that goes into the mic, because remember, this, this mic will come with a three and a half mil uh, jack plug. So that's a, a little mini jack plug, plug so same as if you've got some wired uh, headphones that plug into your phone they'll no doubt come with a little and, and it's not a modern iphone um you've got that little um kind of pin it's a three millimeter um jack mini jack plug and that will plug into your phone so this one that's the plug uh, it's got and so as i say when i'm using it i used it before i had this iphone i had a samsung and it worked and since I've been using it with the iPhone, I just use it in the dongle and it's good to go. So it's great. You can also buy an extension lead. This is about one meter long, by the way, this wire here. You can buy an extension lead also by road. And uh, I think it's something like 20 meters. It's, it's like crazy long, which I use when I'm shooting training videos, etc. in uh, in the office if I'm in town or here, this office here, and I just need a little bit more space between me and the camera, then that extension lead works really, really well. And because it's by the same company, Rode, it's a really, really good quality extension. I did buy um, a, a less expensive, <laughs> I was going to say cheaper, a less expensive extension uh, wire uh, a good few years ago now, but you know, I don't know if it's an exact science. You you kind of get tend to get what you pay for in life. But I, as I say, I I found a, a much less expensive extension mic uh, extension wire for this mic a few years ago, and it, it just lost sound quality. So I think if you are going to get the extension uh, wire, I think it's a good idea if you're going to be training and just a little bit further away from the from your phone, um, then just invest in the 
in the road extension. I think that was about thirty pounds or something. So forty dollars, something like that, for a twenty meter extension, and it's good to go. So that's the that's the mic I use um, pretty much all the time now. When I'm, uh, in fact, all the time now when I'm uh, working from my phone, and the phone lenses are so good. Uh, I don't. I'm doing more and more and more videos using my phone. And clients, they they, they just uh, they don't realise there's a there's a difference, you know. Except it's for me, I can put it in my pocket. It's just so portable. So hopefully, uh, you're making use of yours too. So the uh, the camera I've used, I'm looking over here. Uh, the most probably through the years is this camcorder. It's a Panasonic. It's a really old one. I think it's about I don't know seven or eight years old. It's a it's probably got a million miles on the clock because I've done a whole, I feel, I feel my online course with this. I did my blog post for years and years doing this. Um, and this one, it's got a little plug in there. Again, a three millimeter socket. And I used to have just a, a regular, before I had this uh, Rode mic, I just had a um, another wired mic with a really, really long uh, cord. And I picked it up for about, I don't know, 15 pounds, about $20 from, uh, some um, uh, DJ electronics kind of shop in central London. You can buy, find them online as well. Um, and again, um, whatever kind of external mic you're going to use, it's probably going to be better than the one that's on the top of this because this is really, it says it's a stereo mic, it's got left and right channels. But the fact that you're going to be stood maybe six, eight, ten feet, three meters, whatever, is away from this. It means that you, it's going to sound tinny. You're going to sound like maybe you're in a in a tunnel somewhere. It's you can you'll be heard, but what your viewers will hear won't be that good. Whereas if you use a, an external mic, and again you just plug it or, or clip it to your lapel or whatever it is, you're going to be good to go, and the sound quality will, will be completely different. As I say, I feel my pretty much I think about ninety percent of my online programs speak like a pro online on this. And the quality is great. It's just that the iPhone is even more portable than this. And it's, it's, this is just, the iPhone is one less thing to carry around when I'm in town or going to clients. And so that's why I'm using the iPhone a lot more now. But this, I still use it. It's still great. It's still fabulous. Um, but I would still use it with an external microphone only 100% of the time. Sometimes, if, as I said earlier, if I don't have this uh, road mic with me and I'm around somewhere and it's a reasonably quiet environment, I will still make a, a video recording, uh, usually a live, as I did yesterday in Soho, using my uh, smartphone, my iPhone, because the, the quality, the internal microphone is, is, is pretty good. It's not as good as an external mic, but it's pretty, pretty good. Whereas this one, it's, uh, we're talking a long way away, sound like you're in a tunnel somewhere, it's echoey, it's, it's, not, it's not pretty, it's not nice. So, but that's, uh, that's the external mic I would use for that. I think it was an AKG mic that I had. I just picked it up in a shop in London. You can find them online. You would expect to pay between 20 and, I don't know, $50, I guess. Um, mine was more like 20, but yeah, that's for that one. Um, the final kind of mic I would uh, mention is uh, a mic for this. It's called, the reason I'm picking this uh, camera up and uh, I don't use this camera for video and the only reason is the, 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 the one I've got, uh, uh, the Nikon, um, it does shoot video but it doesn't have autofocus. So if I'm filming myself, you know, it, it's pretty 100% pretty certain it's going to be out of focus. So I know the some of the Canons and the and you know some of the other cameras now are they're fabulous and they have autofocus and you they've got the flip out uh, viewfinder so you can see yourself on the screen just to check you're in shot if you're doing some work um, and they're brilliant uh, but this one you know had it a good long time now good few years and whilst it has a video facility it's it's not built for video really and uh, so it's just for pictures but these kind of DSLR cameras. Um, the modern ones, they do have a, uh, this one doesn't, but this, uh, but they do have a, let me show you, they do have a little uh, um, kind of socket there that you can plug an external mic into it. Now you can plug an external mic, like a, a wired mic, like the, the road I've talked about, or the one with the long wire, the AKG, and that's great. Um, 
But also, if you want to be freed up from wires, you, it's got this thing on the top, and it, it's a mount, and you can, uh, this, is, this is where you can put your third type of mic, it's called a shotgun mic. And literally, it kind of clips on the top, and it looks like that, it looks a little bit like a shotgun, and it's got the mic that's pointing at you. And so long as you're in within a reasonable distance in a reasonably quiet environment, for example, an office like this, and you could be between three and I guess six feet away. So you're just kind of looking at it like that, filming your blog post or whatever with a shotgun mic. And again, Rode make great shotgun mics and they're not crazy expensive either. Um, you're gonna get incredible sound. So. Equally, if you're if you're doing a video blog like this or you or something and you're going to do an interview with someone and that person is beside you on the sofa or on the uh, next to you on the desk or something and you want to record uh, great sound, of course the shotgun mic would would pick both of you up. You wouldn't need necessarily to have two of these. And so you know there are pros and cons. Just think about the kind of the videos you make as well. So that's, uh, that's kind of what I wanted to cover today. Uh, I guess the one takeaway really is for you to consider to um, invest in an external mic. If you're gonna be making videos, whether the video blogs, video lives, um, out and about, food blogs, I'm just trying to think of some of the people I work with, uh, trainers, speakers, webinar creators, online creators. Um, if you're doing stuff like that and you want to create really great content and what I mean by great content is the best that you can possibly do without spending a ton of money just invest in an external mic for whatever device you're recording your video on whether it's a an iPhone a smartphone um, a DSLR camera or a camcorder um, just invest um, a few pounds a few dollars 50 100 tops uh, in, a, a, in a reasonably good quality uh, mic and your videos will be completely different. You will you'll be really super proud of what you produce. So hopefully that has been useful for you. If you've got any comments or questions, uh, leave them in the boxes below. And uh, if there are any uh, questions there and I think, you know, that's going to make a really good video going forward, I would gladly make a video, uh, a video live coming up. And um, yeah, just to say, if you do want to take your videos to the next level, then check out my online program, Speak Like a Pro Online. You can see the link, it's just above or below this video, and it's mikeblissett.com forward slash speak, and you find out tons of information there. Doors are open at the moment for new registrations. It includes tons of stuff from coaching to Q&A to uh, online training to live course. I mean, the whole nine yards. So if you wanna check that out and see how uh, video could make a difference for your business and how um, working with me for a reasonably short amount of time you can learn tons of stuff that you can go away and use straight away if you want to find it out as I say just go to my website mikeblissett.com forward slash speak and um, yeah see if you see if that's what you're looking for so that's it for today I'm off out to central London now to do my mindfulness meditation that I do every Monday and I'm looking forward to it. So whatever you have got planned tonight, I hope it's brilliant. Speak soon. Take care.